We purchased the home in August of 2021. And when we moved everything into the home, we decided that this wine refrigerator in the kitchen, uh, we really needed the space for kitchen items and not wine, and that we were going to remove it from the kitchen. So I contacted Mr. Yeshaya, and I think it was in October, and we talked for a little bit about, you know, what I needed for that particular space, and we finally decided on three drawers that were exactly the same as the cabinetry in the kitchen. And if you refer to your picture, which is Exhibit C, you can see that these cabinets are a very unusual color, so I didn't have much choice. Is they're, this the they're wine refrigerator here? Well, that's the wine refrigerator. And okay, that is removed. And then if you go along to uh, Exhibit D, you'll see the hole there that was created, and you'll see the color of the cabinets, which is turquoise. turquoise. Okay. Very difficult to replicate. So Mr. Yeshaya responded to me, and in Exhibit A, at the very bottom, he says, here is the information for the cabinet to replace the refrigerator space. He gives me the amount, and the total is on the next page, $1,254. And then he says, you can pay me with Zelle. That was on the 14th of October. On the next exhibit, you'll see my transfer to him immediately for the $1,254. So, you know, in my mind, he quoted me, I paid him, delivery and installation, sales taxes included. I should have gotten my drawers. Okay, let me bring in Mr. Yashaya. I see some emails between you and the plaintiff discussing the specifics of the cabinets, how it would be installed, the amount that it would cost. Right. Let me just ask you a pointed question. Were you ever planning to give her the cabinet unit? Of course. When did you change your mind about that? Well, the cabinet took a very long time to, to arrive. Also, before that, before she moved in, she requested from the developer to make some big changes in, in the kitchen, separately from that wine. And I ordered the product for that as well. When it arrived, I called the, the developer and asked him uh, for payment for those things and also payment for the money that he owed me for the kitchen, laundry, bathroom cabinet we did at the house. And uh, at that time, we, we had a problem with him paying. And this is before you ever met the plaintiff? Yes. So I never met the plaintiff. These are issues anyway. that you had with the seller. Right. But all those cabinet, those parts were ordered based on her request from the developer. I see. So when a time comes to submit the invoice to him for those parts and for the rest of the money owed for the cabinet, which I have in an exhibit, at that time he said, uh, ask me, okay, write me a new invoice, add $1,000 for me, and I'll submit it to the lady. And I said, no. And that's the first time I called her and I told her, look, I have the parts that you wanted and here's the amount and she paid me directly and I delivered those things right away. So I, I just been very fair with her, and at that point of time, I was not clear regarding the payment or the money that he owes me for the work I did at her house. Uh, the drawer came like about two, three weeks after that mm -hmm. incident, and at that point, I, I asked her, look, I haven't got paid, you're enjoying all the stuff at the house, it's kitchen, laundry, bathroom, let's file a complaint in a, with the board, with the real estate board, and let's deal with that, okay? And she didn't want to do that, and that's where we left. Well, why did you accept the job in the first place? Why didn't you say, Ms. Blakesley, I would like to help you with this cabinet, but I am owed money? At that time, when she ordered that, there was not an issue, okay? So okay. if it was, I wouldn't have ordered that. The issue did Wh not... Well, why wasn't it an issue? Because at that time, I did not submit all the invoices to the developer. So